Let us begin. Nothing! Oh shoot, I forgot I got the content with this. <coughs> A new trend that's been gracing the scene of gaming in recent years, the concept of less is more has become the stigma of many indie developers. The concept is simple in any genre of game, but especially horror, leaving what is in the game up to the player can give the player emotions that outright seeing something could never do. What do I mean by this? Sometimes it's okay to be conservative with your game. Take Amnesia The Dark Descent. This game revels in the idea of nothingness. You see the monsters, sure, but very, very little. You get a brief enough glimpse that you realize they're monsters, and then the game simply leaves you wondering when they'll appear nearby. All you can hear is their moaning, and that horrifying music when you know the good gosh, you have no weapons or way to defend yourself. So it's basically fear at its most basic. And don't even let me get into the, you know, when the game starts making you hallucinate the monsters. That's a feeling you don't get much in a game. That pure, unmediated feeling your own mind whipped out of nowhere. And what did the developers do? Nothing. Just an instrumental tune, really. A couple occasional ghostly moans. That's what's itching at your brain. They're doing practically nothing. It's quiet. Too quiet. What about if they go further? The free indie PC game, I'm Scared, plants a small bug into your computer upon installation. That bug is the monster in the game. When you play the game, the monster starts toying with you throughout. He plugs word files into your computer, he creates pictures and shows you, and when you think you've beaten the game, he appears on your desktop and pulls you back in. A note by the developer apologizing for the insane computer program that is now haunting your PC and intent on haunting your world. Yeah, thanks, I'm scared. Now I gotta do a sacrificial ritual to rid my computer of demonic <clears throat> spirits. But what does this all add up to? Less is more. And sometimes, the most powerful tool that a game developer can use is the unlimited imagination of the player. Where's the monster? What's the bug on your computer doing? And this is just the horror genre. This could probably be pulled off on other game genres as well. The point is, don't be afraid to back up and give the player the ability to interpret their game their own way. Barrel roll!